Listen to this track, bitch. Hey. Hey. We have Low Key. I have not brought Low Key on the chin in a minute, but it's time to bring him back. And this is Lords of War, the official music video. Oh, very interested when I saw this title. So hopefully, which there's no need to hope. Low key is definitely going to make this heartfelt and understandable. And here we go. Oh, it's based on a true story, huh? Testing shattered hopes and dreams are doing the floor. The face behind the screen has seen it all before. And the worst thing about it is there's more in store. Just another sacrifice to the Lords of War. The royal family sell guns. Sell guns. The royal family sell bombs. sell bombs. That kill the world's poorest people. The government sell guns. Sell guns. The government sell bombs. sell bombs. That kill the world's poorest people. Sacrosanct march of industry. The sacrosanct march of industry does such strange things to people. The spectatorship of suffering. The spectatorship of suffering does all such strange things to people. Imagination alive, cute as could be. You could see the gleam of mischief in her right. Carrying a kite to try and find a place where it could fly. Hovering not far, she saw what was a spaceship in her mind. Too young to really understand exactly what the buzz meant. Bread and water every day. Other than that, she's unfed. Pressure applied diplomatically to stop aid. Reality enforced by the air and naval blockade. Back to her. To her blood flows Qahtan, ancient civilization, but its status has lost charm. She found a place to fly a kite in the soft calm. Some will say that her life was in God's palm. She heard her mother call, saw her brother fall, didn't realize quick enough, stumbled from the sudden force, flicker in a flash to the horror scene of death. And this is what happens when technology meets flesh. Shattered hopes and dreams are doing the floor. The face behind the screen has seen it all before. And the worst thing about it is there's more in store. Just another sacrifice to the Lords of War. A caravan in Nevada, he says, twiddling the control pad. Taking down coordinates, scribbling in his notepad. When he sweats, the headphones itch and irritate his eczema. Watching scenes on the screen as they enter through his retina. Sick of his life, his wife, and his job because it kills. Sick of his father, sick of death from the hospital bills. Childhood of computer games that learned him in murder he wonders if he's better off serving up burgers a small part of him love watching death from a distance but that feeling numbed the way through monotonous repetition merely going through the motions like the robot that he operates depersonalized murder victimless violence for the modern ages cold stare and tap of a button takes her only life instantly regrets but watches on as she slowly dies grotesquely intertwined via the screen that he stares through her kite floats away but we will never know where to where oh, to intertwined it that's tight behind the screen has seen it all before and the worst thing about it is there's more than store just another sacrifice to the lords of war the lord lives in the third dimension far from the theater every now and again whimpers of the carnage get nearer sometimes in his dreams he sees the harm and disfigured like dorian gray can't see his moral scars in the mirror cognitive dissonance suppresses his pangs of conscience rationalize it away everybody has their monsters but he is not everyone he is a parasite of life and carries within him a selfish song never sung believes he loves his children is he capable of love lord of the machines that reigns satan from above will they justify what daddy did or hate him as they must realize their bread and butter their faces faces in the dust as the sights locked on her he loosened his suit and tie as he sighs walls of fire was shooting off to a riot as she died 
He ordered fruit juice with some ice, a kite floats away, he admires the blueness of the sky, oh Lord of War. Destruct this. Oh, what did I say? Disarm or disrupt? Yeah, disrupt. Disrupt the arms trade. Mmm. Low key, low key. Man, I'm with you, you know, but murder and death is how um, they make their money. Mainly through there. They make their money mainly through. That. But isn't it so crazy how like it's just paper. Like money is just paper. It's just currency. Right? The currency has been changed like three or four times. How could you knowingly do such actions to stack up something that can instantly be changed by people more powerful than you and then it means nothing so how could you do actions so terrible because think about this is hitting my head when i was watching this think about it, like say if you save up your arms dealer you got 15 mil right or if not more the currency changes there's no swap for the currency you're stuck with paper. That is useless. You have stacked up so many lives, sacrificed so many lives for something that is now useless. How could you even function? Am I the only one who thinks like stuff like that? Or am I just, am I just weird? That's my whole thing, like, what keeps me honest is knowing that all this shit's gonna pass. Like, nothing's going to stay the same forever. So, I would rather sleep good at night, die with a smile on my face, knowing that I had a, high, a higher moral ground, than do a bunch of, like, evil manipulative shit to try to obtain something when 15 years down the road like our American dollar won't even be worth shit that's what I'm saying like I don't get how people do it like how you just cut how you just cut like your emotion like that's my number one thing is keeping my conscience clear you know what I'm saying I think that's why like the rich always want what the poor have and the poor always want what the rich have is because the poor have the true happiness. The rich have the temporary happiness. But we're taught that we need to have that temporary happiness. You know what I mean? This this is something I thought about. My bad. Anyway, my mind's just going off. I like the way he intertwined those stories. Uh, with the drone operator and her and, and even the Lord of War watching the kite fly away. That was all I like the way he did all that. That was pretty that was pretty tight. He says based on a true story, which how could it not be in these times? You know what I'm saying? It's probably based on multiple true stories, the way things go in our world. But uh I'm glad Loki's still doing his thing. I don't know how new that is. I could be tripping, it could be old for all I know. <laughs> Cause no one actually sent me that. I just saw Loki on Facebook. He was back. And um just looked up some stuff and that was there anyway UK love you guys uh, I'm getting ready to do a skit for the UK and I want you guys not to take offense to it okay just put it out there because y'all know I love y'all and we need to come together y'all my brothers across the water and we need to come together if we're going to actually solve our issues because as the world we have a common issue just real talk Anyway, that's going to do it for you, boy. I don't really care about this running 10 minutes. You feel me? So, leave your comments. Leave your comments. Hit the like button. Show support for Low Key, man. Show your support for all them truth spitters in the U.S., in the U.K. 
you know, we need to get the story heard and, and come together and see what we're going to do to fix it. Because we're almost just going to fix it. The people that are sitting in the, high, in the high castles and stuff, they don't give a damn about fixing it. Your boy's Nixon.